We used uh, the Niton FXL last summer in the Yukon. We uh, analyzed approximately 15,000 soil samples using it. Well, we have a VMS uh, deposit up in the Ring of Fire in Northern Ontario, and we've been using uh, the thermal scientific gun for analyzing the rock and the alteration zones around the VMS deposit. Because of delays getting uh, data back from laboratories, it was probably on the order of four to six weeks before we could get data back. But by using the analyzer, we were able to get data within about a week by the time the samples were dried, and we were able to process the data on site. So that allowed us to make decisions in terms of where we wanted to do infill sampling, where we wanted soil grids to go, and allowed us to go in and prospect these areas long before we had laboratory data back. The main thing we've been using it for is checking out the alteration halos and uh, identifying mafic to felsic rock because it's such highly altered rock that uh, looking at the zirconium and titanium ratios on the gun helps us identify better than what just our naked eye can do in the logging process. Well, I was happy with the quality of the data. I found for the certain elements that we were looking for, the equipment was quite robust. Uh, the data were good quality with minimal sample preparation, so I was able to get a very good comparable data set that I was getting back from the laboratory. But by having Field Portable XRF on site, we were able to do follow-up work immediately. And in that way, we were able to do effectively two seasons worth of sample collection in the one field season. So the whole program was accelerated by using it.